In the previous section, I have introduced two important classes of uh, vortices, which, uh, which were uh, rotational uh, or forced vortices and irrotational or free vortices. Also, I have mentioned that the, in the free vortices, there is a singularity point at the origin of a rotation, which is not accepted in real applications. So here, we want to uh, present mathematical models for realistic um, vortices which uh, do not possess uh, singularity at the origin. So the simplest form of uh, the modified vortices, for example, is the rotational, is the ranking vortex, uh, which is a combination of a free vortex far from the origin and a forced vortex near the center line. You know, as I mentioned, the singularity appears uh, on the origin. So we have to find a core region surrounding the center line uh, in which the flow is uh, rotational, but far from the origin, the uh, model used for the free vortex is uh, acceptable and appropriate without singularities. So, uh, far from the origin, we use the mathematical model of the free vortex, and near the origin, we have to find a substitution uh, to omit the singularity. The ranking vortex uses the forced vortex formula in the core region, uh, which was a linear distribution of velocity, and uh, consequently, the based on the forced, forced vortex, uh, model, the velocity at the origin is zero and increases linearly with the distance from the origin. Okay, the, this way the singularity is eliminated. This is the mathematical model. You see RC is the core. R sub C is the core radius. The distance, you see this is the core radius. F uh, out of the uh, ra core region, the flow is uh, free vortex and inside the core region, uh, the, you see the velocity distribution is linear, and this is exactly the forced vortex distribution. Okay, uh, the, this radial distances less than the core radius. Uh, this is the linear distribution of uh, velocity, which comes from the forced vortex distribution. And for greater values, uh, the or outside the core region. Uh, this is exactly the potential vortex or the free vortex, uh, the velocity in uh, circumferential velocity, the radial velocity is zero in all vortex vortices. Uh, and we have only the velocity component in the theta direction or circumferential uh, velocity back components. This is exactly the same uh, formula used in potential vortex. And uh, this is the modified form of the Forced uh, vortex linear distribution of velocity. The constant of this uh, linear distribution of velocity in the core region can be computed from the equality of velocity on the interface or on the borders of the core region. You see, if you replace R in this relation by RC, uh, you, and again here by RC, both velocities are equal. Okay, there are other types of, uh, uh, or other branches of, or other versions of uh, the ranking vortex, which is called the Kaufman vortex, which was presented around the 1960, uh, and the relation, uh, the velocity uh, is similar to the ranking vortex, but somehow different. But the, th uh, the other type of the, the vortices, well known vortices are those uh, that are solutions of the Navier stress equation. You said this case is a combination of two different vortices, the free vortex and the forced vortex, but we can compute different uh, other different vortices by solving the Navier stress equations. So, this category, uh, number two, uh, which I read the title is the Austin Lamb uh, vortex. The, the Austin lamp vector is maybe the most famous uh, item in this list, in this category, but there are other, uh, for example, Berger's vortex or Kerr-Dold vortex 
these vortices also in lambic uh, vortex these are all uh, solutions of the nebulous stock secretion uh, containing the viscose term here we don't have viscosity in our relations but the Austin land mixer it is a vortex which deals with the decay of uh, vortex because of or the viscosity. Uh, this is the velocity. Again, the radial velocity is zero. The radial component of the velocity is zero. And this is the circumferential velocity. Uh, you see the exponential behavior of the velocity. And if you replace R in this relation with zero, uh, the, it means at the center of the vortex, this will become 1, and uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. So based on this relation, which is computed by the solution of the Navier, Stokes, full Navier stokes equation, uh, is that the velocity at the center line is uh, 0, similar to this case. And uh, we have the radius of core here, again similar to the R sub C here. RC is a uh, function of viscosity, so uh, you see uh, viscosity appears in our uh, results, in, our, in, this, in the result of our solution. And this is the core radius at, uh, at the initial time. If the core radius is zero, so this can be, uh, this part vanishes in this relation and you can just substitute this relation here. And this is the word vorticity, uh, again just in the z direction. You can compute easily this by uh, taking the curl of the velocity field here. And the radial component of velocity is zero in all cases, in all vortices. And uh, the uh, distribution of pressure can be computed by integrating the pressure uh, variation in the radial direction based on the centrifugal of acceleration. Okay, uh, you can Google these uh, keywords, Hercules vortex or Kerdault vortex to find other details or the velocity distribution corresponding to these uh, vortices and uh, the, uh, the procedure of deriving these vortices using this, uh, after solving the Navier's stokes equation. Uh, let's ignore other details and you can find uh, if you are interested. Okay, the, uh, the third types of, the third type of vortices, the first one was free vortex, the other one was the forced, vor forced vortex, and these are uh, permutations of uh, forced and uh, free vortices. But the third class of vortices, which is totally different uh, and had different characteristics, is the quantum vortex. Again, this is something related to quantum fluid mechanics, uh, which is out of the scope of this uh, lecture. Maybe I, re I recorded some videos in the future about uh, quantum fluid mechanics and uh, its preliminary concepts. But here, just uh, let's mention that the quantum vortex is something uh, which appears in uh, superfluids. Superfluids is a kind of, flu is a kind of fluid which uh, has a zero viscosity. Maybe this is strange. Superfluids, for example, liquid helium, um, flow near the uh, cryogenic temperatures and cryogenic applications near the uh, zero Kelvin and very low temperatures and the viscosity is zero, no resistance against motion. This is strange. Okay, But uh, the quantum vortex appears in such fluids. Uh, there are many other interesting phenomena in uh, quantum fluid mechanics such as second sound phenomenon or the third sound phenomenon. It's out of the scope of uh, our presentation. You can find um, additional materials in different literature if you're interested. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, any questions, you can uh, contact me using my personal webpage uh, or my email.